Hello everyone, I am Dr. Pani Madhuri. I am a consultant in reproductive medicine and endoscopic surgery at Matutva Fertility Center, Kormangla, Bangalore. So this is the segment of people we see very often because that's when they approach the doctor aggressively because a lot of polycystic ovarian patients can have difficulty in getting pregnant themselves. Precisely, they can come with complaints of infertility. Now, whenever a patient with PCOS comes with infertility, it is for us to know what is the intensity or the severity of the disease in these patients are based on index of hyperandrogenism they have as well as the kind of irregularity of the periods and the basal BMI of the patient which is also very important in these patients before we approach them for any kind of treatments. Whenever there is a polycystic ovarian patient with an increased BMI, our prime focus is going to be first for the diet modification and exercise and try to help her lose some weight which is also very important once she becomes pregnant. So after the initial pre-treatment of diet and exercise that is followed in these patients, various methods of ovulation induction can be followed. Now when I say ovulation induction, I mentioned to you earlier that these patients have a difficulty in production of egg every month. That is, they do not produce egg on a regular basis like other normal patients who have regular menses. So that is the main reason why they are not getting pregnant. So when I start off my treatment, my main goal is to try and help them produce an egg every month. So I am going to give them some kind of medications which are called ovulation induction agents which are commonly the ones that are used in these patients are clomiphene citrate and metformin as an initial first line of treatment which can be started off and see if the patients regularly ovulate when they are on these medications. These medications can be tried for a period of about say 4-6 to six months and see whether the pregnancy is happening or not. A good 30-50% to 50 of patients with polycystic ovaries can become pregnant when they are on these minimalistic treatments if their tubes are patent and the male factor is normal. Now if the patient is not getting pregnant with these minimalistic treatments is when you need to upgrade them to the next level of treatment which can be in the form of gonadotrophins or uh, laparoscopic ovarian drilling. If the patients are not able to produce an egg by themselves with clomiphene citrate or metformin, the two options that are available are either injectable gonadotrophins or laparoscopic ovarian drilling. The gonadotrophins are injections which are given on a daily or an alternate day basis based on the intensity of the polycystic ovaries when the patient has to come frequently for scans to know if the follicular development is happening or not and then assess and help them ovulate. Whereas laparoscopic ovarian drilling is a technique wherein we put in a scope into the abdomen of the patient visualize all the internal reproductive organs like the uterus, the ovaries and also the tubes and at the same time prick these ovaries with a monopolar needle with a cautery and help the excess androgenic hormones that are stored in these ovaries to release. This is when the good kind of hormones come back into the ovaries and they help them release an egg every month. That is the ovulation can happen in these patients. Now, this effect of the ovarian drilling will not last forever. It probably lasts for the next couple of months, for about six months, wherein we have to be aggressive on trying to get her pregnant. Very small segment of these polycystic ovarian patients may land up even in IUIs or IVF treatments because of endogenously the egg quality being a little hampered as compared to others because of the increased androgens in their body. Now whenever there are more kind of male hormones in the body, the egg is growing in an environment which is not its natural self. Whenever the egg is growing in an environment where there are more kind of male hormones, there can be a tendency to have an abnormal egg. And that is why these patients also have an increased miscarriage rates even after they become pregnant. These things will be addressed when and how the patients progress.